Northman Guild, a group of crazy talented people that handcraft amazing tools. Axes. Knives. Even swords. But they also have master carpenters that make amazing homes. <laughs> but we are a knife channel. Oh yeah, yeah, then this video has to be about one of their expensive high quality knives, right? Wrong! Oh, because we bought a sick axe. The Northlander Hatchet 2. It's got a laminated blade. Bowler K460 steel with an amazing heat treatment, which is described in great detail on their site. <laughs> Knife guys use an axe. They must have amazingly bad axe technique, right? Yeah, oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yes, you are right thinking that. Nobody on the internet is so bad at wielding an axe, but hey. We can't wait to try this thing out and see how this woodworking treasure axe will perform. And we are gonna put it through hell, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I finally have it! This video is sponsored by NordVPN. So as usual, we are gonna try to convince you why you need a product that you don't already own, even though we are sponsored by them. First reason, you can change your IP address to wherever you want in the world to watch series on Netflix or YouTube, for example, that you normally can't in your own country. Oh, but why, 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 why would you need it if you don't even watch series? Well, I'll tell you. Privacy, privacy, yeah? You basically make yourself invisible on the internet. You can even buy knives without your wife finding out about it. So now click on our link in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash dbnice and get your two year plan plus one month for free. They even have a threat protection now. So now click on our link in the description and get a subscription that suits you. Be safe, be private, be untraceable, be watching whatever, be a smart man, get NordVPN. What is it? It's the Norman Guild X, Mickey. This is, look. We are knife guys, I know, I know, and we always use, we all, we always use knives. But now I have an axe, and you know why I have this axe? Because it's a piece of art, and I just, I just really want this. The Northman Guild is like one of the few guilds still alive in Europe, and they make crazy knives even in, uh, in ZDP uh, 169, or what is it uh, again, I forgot. ZDP 189. Really? Yeah, they make knives in that steel. Whoa! But knives or... Uh... Knives, yeah, yeah. But they also make like the most beautiful axes that yes. I can personally imagine. Hand forged by a bloody guild. So I just really want this knife, Mickey. And That's not a knife, it is uh, an axe. Axe, axe. Oh, I'm gonna make this mistake so, so many <laughs> times. Like in every other video. But how, how often are we going to make this mistake in this <laughs> video calling an axe a knife? It's 400 euros. So it's pretty expensive. Yeah. And I want to see, you know, if I, as an inexperienced axe guy, can use this knife X as, 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 as a knife. As a knife. Okay? Yeah. If I can do all the regular things I do with a knife, if I can do that with this axe. Okay? First, sharpness, because this thing has a mirror polish on it. Whoa! Whoa! That's, okay. that's what I'm saying. That's that's what I'm talking about. That is Mickey, that is like the sharpest result almost I think that we had already. And with an axe. Yeah. That's Jesus, crazy. Jesus, that is great. Hello, my name is Ryan Mias. And if you ask, come, come out do this, it's completely shit. Mickey, this is an X. Well, it better sticks better than most knives. The sharpness, the convex. I think for an axe, this is the best feather sticks that I have ever made with this. Why not if I can suggest something? Let's now just use this axe as you would use an axe to split stuff for the firewood, you know, to yeah. get some firewood. And then keep taking it a step up. We begin with this, then maybe also split something like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that is. Huh? But that is chunky, boy. Yeah. But is this X made for something like this? No. Not. Is it? What is it made for then? Something like what is standing right there. Okay, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> what? 
Good, it's really good. I absolutely didn't even feel resistance. Boom. Shall I, shall I just try to do that? Oh, let's go. Sadly, Martin didn't press the record button fast enough. Good! Want ja, ik zat te drukken, maar ik drukte het kopje niet diep genoeg in. Huh? It then, it's just the knot that is keeping them together. <laughs> Look at this. Now, Martin also wanted to try out the power of this axe, so he decided to also try and split some wood. Not knowing that I had been practicing some chopping techniques in secret that you viewers gave me. Yeah, but look, you haven't got the technique! This is a one-handed axe. Listen, what you need to do is... Um, this. You need to... Oh, you gotta, like, go up and as if you are jumping and then come down. Oh. Like this. See, ladies and gentlemen, Martin hasn't got the technique though. That's a very big knot. It's bigger than you had. And look, now you can also split it like this. It's very safe. And really doesn't hurt your hands. <laughs> we are such <laughs> ex-rookies. It is unbelievable. Now this is very professional technique. Look, and now you can really safely do it like this. You see, that is... And then break it, just turn the X. Oh yeah. It's good, let's just say that it is good that he is not a dancer, yeah? He's got a little trouble uh, moving about his body. Okay, look. This, okay, let me see you move your ass. Let me see you move your ass. <laughs> <laughs> now you go, now you go. Okay. Wow! <laughs> look at that, let's go! Woo! <laughs> okay, well the thing is, when you use that X, <laughs> Put the stick over there. Did you do? Did you do that on purpose? No, I just fell in the Oh man. And just like within almost 10 seconds of me saying that you didn't have your body under control. <laughs> when you load up your body while you're here and then you stand on your toes, yeah? And then you go down and then oh. your axe is actually like as if you're a whip yourself. So. Well, with the larger axes. Oh, oh. See, but then you can... With the larger axis, I think you're also supposed to do like this. With yeah, 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 but uh, you cannot really do that with an axe, okay, I so guess. But try, try that out. But, Martin... The motion of the ocean. Martin, wait. Oh, you yeah. but I have a lot of power with this swing. Yeah, 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 but you can generate a huge amount of power. So this is something I've also heard that when you have a small axe and you cannot get through a bigger piece of wood, you can do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, use the... <laughs> Bloody hell, man! I'm a new <laughs> we are actually the worst X channel in the whole world. Oh! Okay, but the table was the one that cracked. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You see how efficient that is? <laughs> you Can see how amazingly efficient that is? <laughs> hey, my technique, it did Love work. It. Loving that technique. It did work. Let's see, let's see if it goes. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> We went bigger and bigger with the wood splitting, but eventually we stumbled on a piece that was too big and too moist. So it was yet another chance for Marta to demonstrate a new brilliant technique. Really testing his thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you I think it's clear what the cracking sound was. Isn't it, baby? Yeah. What the <laughs> Marta finger. Collateral damage. Mm. Mickey has found his old Grand Force. Small forest, forest. There's a little bit of rust on it. Jesus. So after four years. 
Yeah. Hey, ja. Gaan we door. God, that is stunningly good. I'm actually not expecting uh, the, the Northman to win. No. Because it has a very, a lot shorter handle. Can it drop? Or should we... That thing is a little flat wood! Kijk dan! Hey, we just found... Whoa! Whoa! A crazy good source of flat wood. I'm a little bit blown away by the flat wood actually. I'm just saying. Kijk dan! Look at this whole thing! This whole thing is fanwood! Level 1 bushcraft. That, I know, we only found out now. But that is sick! You know, we already. This whole thing is fanwood! You know, the thing is, we already knew that this were like the place for fanwood. It just like. We never really got into it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chop this thing free if we're done with this. And then this is gonna be our tool for making a fire. Oh yeah, nice. Because we cannot really use a lot and we have only got this axe. Okay. Yeah, 100% definitely does not want to go as deep as the... Uh, but... That is actually heavy. Oh, whoa. A little bit. Oh, it, it does. still does. I want to see if it shapes. It still does shape, doesn't it? Yeah. Not perfectly, but. There's one fact, that is that it is not going to scrape a fire stew. A DPK fire stew, that has a scraper. You don't need to use your axe. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, business man yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a giant pal. A little salt dust. It feels super nice and soft to the touch. Whoa! 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 So okay, I did not expect that. No, me neither. This is it. And we actually brined it yesterday. Don't know if we did it right. Or we brined this. And now we should be able to give this like a really crisp thing. But So remind me not to grab this with my hands okay. when it's done. Yeah, that's better. You know what the thing is, Mark? What is the thing? I really don't even like pork. Yeah, but you, you know? I never liked you, but I always am here with you as well. Yeah, because, because this makes you money. Finally, there we have it, Martin. <laughs> okay, so this, I think, is practically all fat. This piece. I'm really curious to see how. Ooh, that, look at this. Oh, that looks really nice. It looks really nice with the crunchy pork. Guys, you really don't know what just happened. Martin already started eating from that thing. I mean, the only reason that we have this food is that we have can get a reaction on video. <laughs> Jesus, what a fat man. I, I really like it. <laughs> Jesus. I really like it, but I'm curious because it has have a pork taste. I think this is really good pork. Let me also test a little piece of the, with the fat.
Oh. Nice? Yeah, I think that could have even little puffed a little bit more, but this meat is really good. I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Mm. Oh. Okay. Juicy, a little bit salty for me. But yeah, this is an eight. I'm gonna say something. This is the best pork that I've ever eaten. I've never had pork as good as this. This. People are not gonna understand this video because your whole reaction was like, it's good. And now suddenly it's the best <laughs> you have ever eaten. Yeah, you know what? I mean, um, I am too, I am a, a beef guy mm -hmm. and a chicken guy. But yeah. for pork, this really is amazing. But I have to say, maybe I agree with you. It's starting to grow on me. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, brand new giveaway! Uh, uh, Thanks to Tools for Gents, the repaired Rockstead. Just a me. few DBK scratches left. Also giving away a Felgenieven NL5, making your favorite knife. And a Felgenieven F1 in COS, like literally the best practical Felgenieven I yeah. think there is. And to top it all off, the CVV Elementum folder. Let's, nice, let's what a giveaway. Back, let's hey. get back to the X video. Marty boy, first of all, can you please look how uh, sharp it is and if it's got any edge problems and uh, or something? Some very minor reflections, very minor reflections. Okay, well now it's time to give it a strop. Oh, hey, we have new DBK compound in stock, literally right now. The DBK compound is our, own compound. our own compound and we have uh, new strops as well and new fire steels, so definitely go check out the shop right now because, you know, resupplying it is hard, so it will be out of stock very soon. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, that is amazing. So, it's not as sharp as it came from the can factory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is amazing, let me see if I can see. Easy, 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 easy. easy. Okay, I have a few conclusions about this axe. But I bought this because, you know, I'm not an axe guy, but I think, you know, an axe is a, is a tool that we've been using for so long. Yeah. And this is such a beautiful piece of, of, of handcraft. You yeah, know? yeah, and also, and from, especially with that ladder. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I noticed with that ladder? It actually had a practical purpose because with chopping, this gave me yeah, more yeah. grip. It gave me a lot of grip. It and did. I think in winter it would be pretty comfortable. Yeah. But for me, is it worth 400 euros? Definitely, you know, this is so beautiful. For me, this is just a piece of art. Yeah. Just a little bit scared of using it. You know, will you be a lot better off with an axe like this in comparison to a Grand Force? I don't know, but it is beautiful. And this, of course, is more aimed towards, you know, making spoons, carving, doing everything a little bit around hey, the camp. Hey, 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 hey. Can I just say that how expensive is this? Like 120 euros or something? Yeah, something like that. And uh, I, I don't know the, the, the price what it is now but this still feels amazing it chops amazing I mean I never use it and it's covered with rust <laughs> nevertheless this is just a piece of art it is it like is. very it comparable is. with a NL5 or a Roxanne exactly exactly, exactly Mickey like. and that's why I really really wanted this every Thursday 1 p.m. PDT be here on our channel yeah. Dutch Bushka of Lives definitely check out the web shop right now because it's uh, maybe one of a, one in a lifetime opportunity to get it now yeah, I don't know if I want to ask for likes. I don't know if I want to ask for subscribe. Do what you want, you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But do be there every Thursday, you know? Okay.